There. Now to submit and... Peter. How you doing, son? Robbie, hi. I know this is out of the blue, but I wanted to let you know I just sent in a photo for your open call. Wonderful. We can definitely run this. I gotta duck into a meeting, but if you find the beating heart of New York anywhere else, send them my way. It's good to hear from you. You too, Robbie. Thanks. Whoever started talking about cities as playgrounds was definitely thinking about New York City. Never thrown a flying disc across rooftops before. But my neighbor and I used to talk to each other at night using flashlights and Morse code. Ha <laughs> ha! The bodega beef. It was already a rivalry for the ages when it was just David versus Goliath. But when Tails had to deal with the bodega copying his success by using the exact same mascot, it stepped up to a whole nother level. A bodega franchise is copying another bodega's mascot, who is a cat dressed like me. <laughs> Only in New York, baby. Guess Tail must be doing pretty well if he has his own copycats now. My grandma always talked about going here. She'd walk across the bridge every Sunday to get the freshest vegetables in the city. But one time, she was late, and the guy in front of her bought all the tomatoes. And that's how she met my grandpa. Little Odessa has one of the oldest farmer's markets in the city. What better place to find a slice of New York life? This is where I saw Spider-Man for the first time. Pete had just saved some people and looked so cool. Though not everyone agreed. You know, I saw an old grandmaster playing there last week. Anyone could walk up and challenge him. And he lost to a kid who lives down the street from me. Dev. Oh. Never seen anything like it. Maybe it's because I've grown up with it, but it feels like chess's natural state is to be played outdoors in a park. We gotta have the best outdoor chess talent in the world, right? Or at least we got the most. Say what you will about social media, and I can say a lot. It's helped so many businesses stay afloat here when they would have gone under a long time ago. Can't imagine how hard it is to open a food business in New York let alone find success with it. Wow. I remember when they were sharing a table with a smash burger vendor at the Harlem Street Fair. Good for them. Is that? Oh, 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 man. I haven't been there in years. When we were at the Bugle's old office, we'd hide out here whenever Jonah was about to blow. <laughs> I finished a lot of assignments sitting at that bar and a lot of grasshoppers. <laughs> Robbie recommended this place back when MJ and I were first going out. So cool. Totally made up for my obscene sweating from fighting Rhino that day. Uncle Aaron told me he hang around here with Dad all the time. Definitely gonna check it out. When I'm old enough. Ah, here we go. Now, I'll admit, I first walked into his shop because of all the articles about his new flavors. But his traditional ones would have kept me coming back. Sometimes a classic is a classic for a reason. If this city doesn't have the thing you want, you're probably not looking hard enough. Dad swore by this place. Took him weeks to get me and Ma to try it. But once we did, we became converts for life. New York's always had a thriving underground wrestling scene. Even been to a few shows myself. That combination of theatricality with amazing feats of strength and athleticism, it's electrifying. Ah, the old days. Love going to the matches with Ma. She always cheers when they break out the chairs. Like, a lot. When my son was growing up, I helped coach his youth baseball team here. Every game we played, the parents talked more trash than the kids. <laughs> Myself included. <clears throat> Uncle Ben taught me baseball here. We watched a game together, then we threw the ball around a few times. I hit him in the ear. I played baseball here one summer with kids from school. We'd run around challenging other teams, talking ourselves up, but <laughs> we lost every game. Reminds me of the people who ride into the bugle, and a few who work there. Freedom of speech is a beautiful thing, but saying a thing over and over again doesn't make it true. Well, given all that's happened in the last few years, predicting increasingly wild events only seems sensible. I gotta be honest. None of this sounds that ridiculous for New York. <clears throat> Sometimes I worry with all the terrible things that happen in our city 
People will be afraid to leave their homes, live their lives. But not today. These people are out here every week dancing in ways that break my brain. I've actually been studying them for ideas on how to dodge better. I've seen them show up every day to do these dance-offs. I kind of want to jump in. We mostly just want to stare and all. Protesting isn't just a constitutional right in New York. It's your civic duty. Especially when a multinational corporation is behind a bioweapon unintentionally getting released into the city. Protesters like these are the reason why Oscorp's been speeding up their payouts lately. Props to these people. They've lasted way longer than the Roxxon protesters. I mean, if I was rich, I'd take advantage of that backdrop, too. I'd also be worried about constantly launching balls off the roof, but I guess they can afford it. Harry's favorite tennis court. With some luck, I'll be able to afford a membership when I'm 40. Oh, who am I kidding? I'll never be a member. This court used to be free. Then some startup bought the building and put in a membership program. <sighs> NYC. The mecca of basketball. Sure, you can play it anywhere with just a ball and a net. But when you've got the people in the apartment buildings watching, the other players trash talking, and the sound of rubber hitting asphalt, there's a reason they call it the city game. Favorite place to watch basketball, hands down. First time I swung past it on the way home, I ended up perched on a lamppost staring for two hours. Dad taught me all about ball right here. We watch a game, play one, then repeat until the sun went down. And one time until it came back up. Whether it's on the stage or in the open air, where else can you see legends and soon-to-be legends performing every day? London? That's really far away. Respect to anyone who performs in front of an audience. I did an open mic set once. Aunt May was the only one laughing in the whole crowd. And she was hooting. My drama teacher, Mr. Nichols. He still goes out for auditions because he wants to learn more to teach us. What a legend. The Spider-Men aren't the only superheroes in New York. <laughs> Getting students to class on time? One of the greatest powers I've ever seen. The timekeeper. He always made sure I got to class on time when I was at ESU. Don't think I could have managed college and the whole superhero thing without him. The timekeeper. An ESU legend. He's been making sure students stay safe and get to class on time forever. Hope I get to know him if I get in. You gotta hand it to New Yorkers. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to be funny there. If there's a good time to be had, they'll find it. Reminds me of when I fought the vulture and someone tried to use his broken off wings to fly to Long Island. <laughs> this is much safer. I mean, I get it. Beaches are packed this time of year. I heard this guy dips his hot dog buns in tomato juice before eating them. Now, I get that it makes it easy for them to go down, but tomato juice? Brother, that ain't right. I tried to enter a hot dog eating competition with this guy last year. But the crowd booed me out after I asked for ketchup. Finn and I did a food competition with this guy once. Chicken nuggets. Both of us threw up. But he got the crowd to give us a standing ovation. Honestly, we need a whole other photo series just on New York's music. Its impact, the communities it built, its outright brilliance. It's hard to encapsulate in one photo, but this isn't bad. One time, these guys started to play music to match the fight I was in down the street. It was like I had my own bards. I always get inspired here. Just the back and forth, listening and responding, full improv. The only conversations I'll never get bored of. Yeah, some things in New York you just can't explain. And that's what's great about it. Does any other city have fans like this? Some people thank you for helping out. Others dress up as you and come up with terrible catchphrases. Ah, the Manhattan Bridge. Can you believe they started building it in 1901? <laughs> Finished in 1909. I thought it was old when I was a kid, but now? It's just amazing, the history that's in this city. This was the first bridge I swung across after I got my powers. All the cars honked. The tourists taking photos yelled at me to get out of their shots. It was nice. I thought this was the coolest bridge when I was growing up. And now that I get to swing across it every week, 
I know it is. <laughs> you know, for a place where everyone's comfortable calling out when something's wrong, people here sure hate admitting when they're wrong. The writer in me does love the irony, though. Accidents aren't unique to New York, but it does feel like they happen a lot here. At least these two are all right. Looks like everyone's okay. Honestly, some days it feels like getting into an accident here is a rite of passage. My best friend's kid painted this. I remember her showing me a sketch of it the day before it went up. New York is nothing without its people. Love wins. Love is love. Hey, Robbie, you got the photo? I think it's a good one to close my submissions with. Yeah, it's fantastic. But I'm a bit surprised you're stopping now since you left out two of the biggest parts of New York. The Spider-Man. I mean, I don't know if they're that big. And they are kind of controversial. Everything I see in these photos. All the stories and history and life. None of it would still be here if it wasn't for the Spider-Man. I hope they know that. I bet they have some idea. Well, thanks for the photos, Peter. You've always been better at this than you give yourself credit for. I don't think that... Thanks, Robbie.